that's the Bose Lions family tree, uh, and the real names of Bose Lion are very much more hyphenated than you usually know. So there is Cecilia Nina Cavendish Bentick on the bloodline for the Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, she's the mugshot right at the top. And you might recognise her because of the Habsburg lip. Okay, and there are loads and loads of the Rosses on these bloodlines and even this it goes way back into Eustace of Boulogne, Eustace Fitzralph and those are Hannah Mary's relatives. So let me just show you a summary picture that I've now captured on my websites to show you who the Bose Lions really are. Yeah, the man is gone missing from the uh, sound of, uh, from <laughs> Great Escape cast. Oh, and I forgot to get uh, Michael Bentink into the story. Because there are the images of the Queen Mother, Cavendish. Uh, and that is Cavendish, who's now totally disappeared from the social media. Okay, so there is Cecilia Bowes Lyon. Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn and she's a dead ringer for the girlfriends for one of my best mates and one of the nicest guys in Dundee. Okay and I'm hoping to get to the wedding uh, and all of these are royal weddings and all of them are bastards and the Bentic name is commonly used in the aristocracy because the uh, s <laughs> slush their sperm and their vaginas around and hey presto you come out with royal bastards all of the time so this one is called Cecilia Bowes Lyon Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn uh, Wikipedia and there is her real name Cecilia Nina that is the Nini that is the false god and is Jesus Bowes Lyon Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn uh, and she has got in her official name oh no sorry her parent is Louisa Cavendish Bentink Charles Cavendish Bentink and that is the Cavendish and that is all the elite families that are in the double agencies through all of the wars Sorry, we're missing the bottom of the page. Let me see if I can just climb down from my massive mountainous disclosures that all of the families that are named Montague and all of the families that are named Montanus and Montgomery and the people that I've gone to see this weekend at Loch Leven, they are the uh, now the families that are uh, Fotheringay. And all of it is the massive uh, scam that all of these kings and queens and all of their inbreeds <laughs> are bastards and all of them are designed by the Rothschild breeding chambers so that the whole of the monarchy and the whole of the Shin project, yeah, where they control the monarchy, they control, they demand the every world war is funded by them and when they have everything ready they get a stammering person from this monarchy yet yeah, remember that the stammering king is uh, the person that is from uh, the massive castle I should have taken a picture of that uh, I will just do it now and show you that Glam's castle is yeah. home to Cecilia Bose Lion, Countess of Strathmore, and I believe that Cecilia is the patron saint of travel, and that's why the real Bose Lion from Glam's fucked off to uh, Denmark because the stammering king she knew was incapable of having viable babies who would not die or give epileptiform fits 
on the gurney in the delivery room. Yeah, and that is why she lost faith in them and they had to replace her with a <laughs> whipping boy. Uh, and all of it is extremely embarrassing uh, and that's why that's why uh, the uh, Cavendish character has been completely removed from world history. Now I've found two pictures of him this morning. They're the only ones that still exist. Let me show you them. Uh, Carolina Storms, I'm not sure how that's going. Uh, there he is. Cavendish in the Great Escape. On the left, just let me see whether or not he's in it. Yeah, he is. He's got the lovely little tash, and he is the actor. Uh, he's Nigel Stock. He's the one that played uh, the banker in Mary Poppins. And all of them are bankers, which is why they are profiteering through all of the great conflict. Okay? And because it's a banking family exposure, Hannah, I've got you in at the end. Uh, let me give you uh, my uh, motif for our relationship at this stage, because I learned it from the Great Escape team. Uh, and that is Lublu. I love you, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, and this is them in the massive scam that every family that has their Batman in Colditz, and you now understand the magnitude of that joke, Mr. and Mrs. Colditz are on George W. Bush's bloodline, which is the sheriff bloodline that escaped to America. Yeah, and everything that is in Colditz has its Batman within as a piss stick that is British American tobacco and the icon for Winston Churchill, who is the parent of the Queen of England and Bill Clinton in America. Yeah, every one of these is the mob. And I've shown you my videos now on Steve McQueen with the catcher's mitt on. Yeah, and the massive jokes that that is the uh, the, the uh, three-handed, three-fingered uh, icon for the, uh, the devilish uh, hands. Okay, and there are the... Uh, so that, that is the one that taught me that Lublu means I love you. <laughs> yeah, and just as they were escaping, they were being... Uh, they, they were discussing... Uh, what they should say when they get to their destinations uh, and that is I think Lublu is Russian for I love you Hannah <laughs> ok yeah. so uh, let me now take you back to no let's get through the pictures just in case I forget something so there is Gerald so that is Cavendish this one here yeah, he's the one that plays, in the Mary Poppins movie, the role of the banking dynasty with the top hat and the tails, and all of it is repeating issues. Uh, the actress that was Mary Poppins, she actually lost her voice for a decade, like Shania Twain did, and the gods are now doing that to all of the celebrity families that run the Star Wars teams for profit regardless of the number of poor people that they murder en route. So, pictures, and then we'll get on with the story. There is Jar Gerald Cavendish Grosvenor, and he's a dead ringer for my best mate in Dundee now, uh, who's called Ken. Uh, okay, and... Uh, uh, he, sadly, he's been passed on in Rupert Murdoch's press, but no one can know whether or not Mammy Ken, whose surname is officially uh, the same as the now-divorced Shona Robinson, uh, but her surname, because her husband uh, was untruthful to her uh, and had an affair in Westminster, she is now, he is now Ken, uh, the MP for... Uh, the golf course that is along the 
Perth Road, uh, the Fife Road, uh, is uh, that is the name of the Shona Robinson's husband is Hosey. So the body double in Dundee is Ken Hosey, and he's a body double for Gerald Cavendish Grosvenor. And the Cavendish secret is one of the most well kept things because there are only now two pictures of Cavendish in the Great Escape team. Let me show you him in that big zoomed in set of uh, profiteers in the war. Yeah, so he's he's uh, in the Man from Uncle movies that feature the covers for Desmond Morton, who was the Batman for uh, Butcher Haig in World War One, and then became the uh, the uh, Batman for Winston Churchill, the Queen's father and Bill Clinton's father in World War Two, and they are hopelessly intertwined and that's why this one who's called Ilya Kuryakin uh, I forget what the actor's name is uh, he's uh, Ilik, Ilya Kuryakin in The Man From Uncle and he is Eric Ashley Pitt the, and his nickname in The Great Escape Team was uh, Dispersal ok do you get it? that is Pi Pi Piso Pitt there is Dennis Cavendish Bose Lion women yeah and he is the surveyor and there are no pictures left of him being arrested by the Third Reich being lined up outside their uh, truck and being shot as one of the 50 because 50 means none in Piso code <laughs> and that is the Pi Pi Piso pit name that all of them are laughing at, and this is one of this is the second biggest genocide in world history, because they're able to get away with World War One, because the people cannot then even read or write. Right up to 1914, and if you wanted sex in a brothel, you had to pay to the king, and that is the naming of the word fuck and that is fornication under consent of the king and all of the money goes to the royals that sent you all to your deaths and there is the Russell Mafia and there is the uh, Taylor Mafia Freitag, Albertly, Reiser, Taylor, Desmond, Kramer versus Kramer and the usual suspects are all through it Flying Officer Louis Sedgwick, yeah, the manufacturer, and there is Flight Lieutenant Dennis Cavendish, the surveyor. And this is the joke, like they have in the uh, Hogan's Heroes, that the person that snitches on them and asks for information in friendly conversations is called Haynes. Uh, and there is Frick and there is Pitt again uh, and Desmond just happens to be the uh, first name of Morton the person who was the Batman for Winston Churchill in World War II and that is Desmond Morton who's in Operation Winnie the Pooh and we've got all of their nicknames if you want to know and there is Carl Otto Albertly on the other side in inverted commas and that is the Ottoman Empire, which is named after Otto Piso. And there are the Fry Tags and the Friars of the Norse godly myths. And they are the gods of uh, beauty and love. Yeah, And that is the icon for the eagle that is the Russell, the icon for Russell who is the boss at Jehovah's Witnesses and that is the eagle's wings for every dead pagan across the world and all of them are in those lethal teams. I did not spot Eric Ashley Pitt until this morning and they're from just along the road in 
Oh no, sorry, that could be the Vaughan family uh, that are with him in the man from Uncle. So, uh, let me now show you some of the other bloodlines that are involved in this. But first, the uh, details of Cecilia Bowes Lyon, Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn. And this is short showing results. Let me just check that that's on the telly. Sure, let me zoom in a little bit. Quite exciting this new car. Eh? Okay, so up there at the top you see Cecilia Nina Cavendish Bentic. That's El Nino and a replacement of Jesus. Uh, that Jesus now replaces under the name Nini, uh, the uh, what was the Irish equivalent? The uh, the hopeless little dollies that are the uh, garden gnomes, and all of it is the replacement of the gods, who now become the giants, that are demonised by these people, who then call themselves the gods, and launch the massive wars all across Europe. So Cecilia, Nina, Bose Lion, Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn. Yeah, that starts there. Let's go slightly to the right and show you her picture. Oh, look at that. I'm becoming a real movie maker, Hannah. Lou Blue again. Cecilia, Bose Lion, Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn. Yeah, so there's her real name with the hyphens. Like Gerald Cavendish Grosvenor, she is Cecilia Nina Bowes Lyon, Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn, G C V O D S D St John, was the mother of Queen Elizabeth. What G C V O means and De Saint de Jean was, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. All of them will be Freemasonic jokes. And that is Santiago and all the jokes about Lagos the Rabbit right back to Alexander the Great of Macedonia and their own ancient fascist bloodline that launches every war that we've ever had to keep the number of the poor people down. And this one is quite intimidating and his body double is really scary and he is very like the Morton men too. And you should see his conk. There is Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, the daughter of Cecilia, yeah, the patron saint of travel. Yeah, uh, and the <laughs> Celia, you're breaking my heart. And that's about infidelity in the bedroom. And all of them do that as their means to power. Yeah, and the uh, person that we've not looked for yet on the images is Michael Benteen because there is Cecilia Nina Cavendish Bentink and that becomes the goon show and all of my wife's family's favourite comedians I worship you <laughs> O'Brien yeah and all of it is a massive steal and there is the sun of Cecilia, he's called David, and I think he's the Queen's cousin, and that makes perfect sense, because this is her granny, and the Queen Mother is Elizabeth Bowes Lyon. Do you get it? All of them with Cavendish in the middle name, and that's why Cavendish has been so difficult for me to find for the last few months. Yeah, and he used to carry the suitcase. And all of it, yeah, I think he might have been a snitch for the Germans, and all of them were. And when the commander asks them at the gates what has happened, uh, and he says, why are there no prisoners returning with you, Steve McQueen, the double agent? He says, all of them were gunned down. And he said, there must be survivors. Who, where are the injured? They've all gone. And that is why 50 of them, which means none, were shot. All of them 
have the loot all over Europe and they take it home and they put it in the Bank of International National Settlements and all of it becomes the Basel faulty joke as at the same time they are murdering the legitimate monarchs. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's just that's not anything to worry about. It's just that the uh, screensaver has cut in on the other machine. <laughs> oh, sorry, it might be something to worry about. Okay, so there is Elizabeth II, uh, granddaughter of Cavendish. <laughs> And Gerald Grosvenor's body double is one of the nicest men I know uh, so far. Uh, and he is just a local gambler now. He's no longer the world's top uh, earning Britain on the Forbes Rich List. And that might be a quite a convenient way to avoid your taxes, Hannah Mary Lublu. So, uh, what else can I tell you? So it takes you into a really complicated story and if you click on all of those things that have been reported by Kevin Bacon's bloodline. The Bacons are in the Queen Elizabeth the First story and it's quite horrendous that one. That is the massacring by the Plantagenet dynasty that is Tudor. They then murdered everything that could not have babies for them. Hannah, you are lovely. Lou blue, Lou blue, Lou blue to all three of your daughters. And your husband is particularly evil because he's cutting down uh, God's rainforests. And the gods are quite angry with all of those decisions by the humans to replace them with Jesus who never lived, and all the Pi Pi names that you see through all of these bloodlines are the descendant of that Bible author who lived under Vesuvius and had it blown, blown their home blown to bits by the real gods in uh, 79 AD. And these are the surviving uh, busy bees of ancient Rome, which is why the related to Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands and all of the inbreeds that are the residual monarchy that have stolen all of the residual aristocrats even in Russia's titles and all of their wealth and all of their mansions uh, and that is even young Nathan Rothschild who's on the Future of Russia Foundation with Prince Charles and all of the massive serial killers like Henry Kissinger. And honest, this one is a dead ringer. Yeah, I don't know if you can see her up in the top corner there. Yeah, she's a dead ringer for the girlfriend of my best mate in Dundee. Really nice guy. Yeah, like Ken. And all of them have the fucking capacity for greatness in world history but they totally ignore it because the rest of the people in their syndicate like Donald Trump and his militias uh, are hell-bent on continuing with the mafia op that is the ruinization of the concept that the world could ever be uh, civilized and peaceful when it is run by the families that are the naming of the police and the prisons and the pistols, and so on, and so on. <laughs> okay, so, uh, let me get you some other stuff. So do you understand now the yeah. disappearance from the Great Escape Team of Cavendish? Yeah, and I discovered all of that uh, months and months and months ago. <laughs> so there is the uh, yeah the very very complicated dignified story of the British royals and how they get sired okay so there is Hans Rosling who used to be a friend of mine and my Facebook chum because he's a scam for Rothschild okay he's a cover 
for rosin, rousing forbs on the rich list. Let me just check that all of them have their mugshots on screen. And there is the Nymphomaniacs, Fania, on display with Commoner Kate when she was a prostitute in Killing Kittens. Yeah, that is the Fania on the right for the woman in bondage in the Nymphomaniac movie to cover the fact that Jenny Jerome it is called Lady Randy and her uh, nickname is uh, Lady Randy because she had over 200 lovers, Commoner Kate, and there is Commoner Kate having an orgasm in Killing Kittens in the public eye. <laughs> okay, and there is the previous uh, cover-up in Top Gear before Jeremy Clarkson got the contract. Her name is Kate Humble and she's one of the stars up till 2013 uh, and she's a literary person like Hannah Mary Rothschild. Okay, and <laughs> there's one of the Goldsmith Bastards uh, and she's married to the new president in Pakistan who's Imran Khan uh, and my wife used to be his scorer. Uh, and there is the Pope who's in the bloodlines for Hitler uh, and all of it is absolutely sordid. But that is Jean Paul, that is not Gorgoglio, the serial killer and the person who gave confession. Uh, that is Pope Francis, who's now been replaced as the speckless Pope yeah, by Jonathan Price. And Jonathan Price does not need specks like old, the old passed on. Pope Francis does. Okay, and there is Hans Rosling, the man who bought, brought sexy back to stats. Yeah, he's the one that gave lectures for Ted and all the toffee nosed bastard academics that keep the world enslaved uh, by the billionaires. Yeah, so that is the Nymphomaniac movie, and the hero in that is called. Uh, Jerome, because that is Jenny Jerome, who is the parent as a sex maniac of Winston Churchill. Yeah. And Winston Churchill, as a sex maniac, eh, does not always get real sex, and he has to use his cigar tube for official royals like the Queen of England, who is his daughter. And Bill Clinton is his son, but he was allowed to shag the mother because she's just the lover of the Prime Minister. Uh, and her name is uh, Pamela Digby Churchill, and Bill Clinton was brought up by uh, Beaverbrook, who's not yet in these stories, because he's already uh, been brought in to be the profiteer in the war that they are launching here. Uh, and that's Commoner Kate, the prostitute, in uh, Killing Kittens. And she's lovely. And several times she and her uh, mother-in-law, in inverted commas, yeah, because the Queen's babies are sired by several different people. Yeah, that is, that is Plunkett and Porchester are the parents of all the young ones and the parents of Charles and uh, Princess Anne, the uh, dragon that is... Yeah, sometimes the victim of death threats and kidnapping threats. And all of that is covered by, like the tragedies that get the horses killed, yeah, in the centre of London. Yeah, it is all just a massive fantasy because they're all illegitimate for profit. Uh, and is there a picture of Jerome? Oh no, that, how remiss of me. So Jerome is the person that gets to uh, make love to the people in the Nymphomaniac movie. And he is the actor that plays the role of the person that takes them into his house. Uh, and all of that is to cover rousing, not rosling, on the Ford rich list. Do you get it? Jerome is the lover of the nymphomaniac in the movie. And it's ever so unsubtle, Queenie. 
And I don't think how you could ever believe that you could win like that against a professor of neuroscience who's had his whole career dismembered by your Chip and Norton syndicate. And that's why Kate Humble is such an anonymous person compared to the other members. And that's on my website and they've not taken it down yet. And there is Kate Adey, who's registered in uh, Eccleston Square, and Eccleston is the palace for the Duke of Westminster, whose middle name is Cavendish. So, let me show you Kevin Bacon's family trees, and who's related to him. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, uh, I forget what the... That ancient bacon was uh, that is in the stories I was reading about yesterday. So the year of the famous kin of Eustache of Boulogne, who used to live in the Rothschild mansion in Tring. <laughs> and he used to own uh, the mansion just above Tring that my son, my eldest son, uh, who I'm not allowed to see, uh, was uh, born in. That's R.E.F. Halton now, and all of it is a massive steal by the leading families that are on uh, the Queen of England's family trees. There is Catherine Parr, sixth wife of Henry VIII, uh, and I don't know whether or not she got away alive. George Washington, first U.S. president from Tring and then from Newcastle, from Washington in Newcastle where there is a cross keys hotel and I've made several videos. Thomas Nelson, signer of the Declaration of Independence, Meriwether Lewis, the families that are related from Lewis in the Scottish Isles to Donald Trump. There is Samuel Prescott, which becomes a famous name when Bush becomes the Nazi and Prescott Bush is the great grandfather of the two presidents, or the great-great-grandfather of one of them. And that is the launch of John Prescott, with the word Piso in his name, into Tony Blair's cabinet. Yet yeah, there is John Hancock, the signer of the Declaration of Independence, and the Hancocks that are my relatives that were in the diaspora with the Bush family to America. Yeah, and every dental person in the dental profession are now being robbed blind by Dr. Stephen Andrew Hancox, who used to be my brother-in-law, but I'm not sure what his title is now that they scammed me into divorce. And there is Fletcher Christian, and he's in the porridge comedies in the jail, yeah, with the people that are in the, uh, I forget what the jailer is, but he is also cover for the families that become the presidents in America. Uh, he's uh, uh, he's uh, oh Mackay, yeah, and that is the great the uh, local hero movie and everything that moves and the ever so stressed Mackays of Dundee. Every time I mention them, they appear in the pubs, pissed or deathly white, with uh, ever such tense looking, and there is Ichabod Goodwin, and I've spent the whole of my morning explaining how Fred Goodwin coerced all of the local people that are of significance in the ad administration of local regions all over the country, that is the provost of Kelso, that is the head of the local paper, that is the man who runs the local cinema, and all of them uh, are on uh, Fred Goodwin's boards, and that is Goodwin that is part of the Norse conquest and the Norman conquest, because uh, all of them came across at the same time from Normandy and Nor Norway. And that is Normandy that is the massive joke that is this joke. <laughs> yeah, and there are Hannah Mary's relatives married into the Prime Minister of Scotland. Yeah, that is Hannah Rothschild of Naples, who married Archie Rosebery, 
who's a tort and a traitor, and he had to promise that the Scotland football uh, players would play in Rosebery, uh, purple and orange, and it, all of it is totally uh, keeping the poor people at bay, and they played in those uh, Rosebery jerseys in Hamden, and the reason that Hamden is now being replaced by Murrayfield is that I revealed that Hamden uh, is actually the architect at Downing Street, where the whole of the Mafia operation is led by the actress that is Teresa von Brazier of Austria. Sorry, uh, uh, and Lou Blue Hannah for behaving slightly better than your ancestors and for not having, at least as far as I've uh, now discovered, uh, massive mansions in Naples too. This one has 13 all over the country. One of them is Dalmeni uh, and they are not as uh, sordid as the ones at Albermaro because that is Jimmy Savile's uh, Scarborough, where my wife always wanted to go because she's in the syndicate that is in Scarborough and in uh, the Duke of Westminster's <laughs> favourite places that are uh, Teesside. Yeah, and that is the John de Belial treason against Scotland. And all of them are still in charge of the entire world. That's Dalmeny House and the Rosebury Estates and that for the people that you just saw in Colditz is of relevance to those that were in, that is the Ilya Kuryakin, Man From Uncle actor, played one of the roles in the movie about Robert Louis Stevenson and the House of Shaws at Carmen. Yeah, all of them are the aristocrats that run the world and the only surprise so far John Patterson eh, and Phil McConnell is that there are no Pattersons with one or two T's in it yet and that is the ownership of the royal mints eh, and being the uh, bosses eh, at those institutions eh, that's the Bank of England or a eh, eh, relative that John Patterson is prepared to declare. All of them lived in the locks that are the buried mansions of all those elite families. That is, for John Patterson, that is the massive lock that is Rutland, and that is where, with Hugh Pearson uh, and Grafham, is the same. All of them are engineered so that the gods' acts can be prevented in their mind's eyes but the gods create new ways of flooding all of those places and canalising all of what were formerly beautiful rivers. And that is the Cornish estates for Charles and Camilla that were hopelessly flooded for months and months and months, yeah, when my wife was just entering into the divorce issues. Yeah, and I don't know what the news is from America, but they're having to evict two million people from uh, Carolina uh, one day after I gave you those little lectures on the massive Azure main issues and the Rule Britannia jokes for all these elite families and there in the Rosebury estate for the President, uh, the Prime Minister of Scotland yeah, who took us to the Boer War in Africa. And that's why his brother died there. And the gods are absolutely uh, fair players. Uh, and everything that is a scam, they have their eye on. I hope that does not occur uh, in ION, because that is the Institute for Neuroscience in Imperial College London. And Jenny Pocock, my old colleague, in crime was there and that is Commoner Kate's colleague eh, and that is Bermudez's colleague and all of them were sent to spy on me 
uh, as PhD students in Woolwich at Thames Polytechnic under Professor David Beadle, uh, and all of them now have shot the pooch. In other words, they will not speak to me, and they're in a state of panic that the gods are watching them too, because they are in the syndicates that are the blacket mafias in Newcastle, uh, and they are the people that work for George W. Bush. Yeah, that is the people that were running the P and O shipping lines out of Hexham. And my best friends. Yeah, all of them in the Rotary Club, all of them absolute fascists. And none of them will speak to me now or meet me in the eye other than the uh, the uh, family that is, uh, I can't remember whether they are the Charltons or the other lot, uh, but all of it is a massive pre-planned plot to dismember my life. But my life has now become ever so insightful. So, what else did he discover on these family trees? So we got to Ichabod Goodwin. Yeah, this is the Queen of England's tree. Fletcher Christian, Francis Lightfoot Lee. There are several Lees who could well be my relatives. Yeah. Richard Henry Lee, signer of the Declaration of Independence, out of train in Hertfordshire and Newcastle's uh, Washington. <laughs> Francis Lightfoot Lee, Ellen Herndon or, or Arthur, General Robert E. Lee, Charles A. Pillsbury of the Pillsbury Doughboys cover up. And that is the state of the world we live in. General J for thousands of years, General James Longstreet, J. Gould, yeah, American Railroad, Robert Baron, 17th great grandson of the Queen. Oh no, there she is, 18th great granddaughter. This is Eustace of Boulogne, who used to live in Paris, and that is, he then flitted to Hertfordshire, uh, where Hannah Mary is lublued by me, but never replies, and her father eh, eh, is one of the world's biggest criminals. And that's a really dangerous thing to say. Thomas Sim Lee, George George S. Patton, yeah, the tank commanders who are von Patton of Austria before eh, World War One allowed them to escape using their names and all of it is on the official bloodlines and my beautiful pictures Hannah you're free to use them in the art galleries all over the world where you pretend that you need help from the government that you have robbed the central bank from I can't accuse you of that it was long gone way before you were born uh, in that beautiful female bloodline So let's get down this one. That's William Howard Taft, one of the presidents in America, 18th great-grandson of Eustace of Boulogne. Uh, Rutherford B. Hayes, 19th US president. Uh, Ellen Louise Axon Wilson, first lady of President Woodlow, Woodrow Wilson and cuckolded by one of the world's most mysterious women. Yeah. I have not even got a clue who that may be. That is the coercion by sleeping with the pimp and the prostitute eh, that got Woodrow Wilson coercible so that America would be enforced to enter the war that he promised they would never enter. He's the man that signed off on the massive Rothschild Red lead and the, all the families that came in the shin from Germany, yeah, to launch the federal banking steal, uh, and I forget what the names of all of the people were, but the Morgans are there, the uh, German family that is, uh, oh no, I'd have to look it up, uh, and we would lose track of where we are on this. So there is Edward Lloyd, 13th Governor of Maryland, 
eighteenth grandson of Eustace of Boulogne and Tring Hannah. Ray Bradbury, author of the Martian Chronicles, nineteenth great grandson, Theodore Roosevelt, that you might have heard of, that murdered the incumbent president. They took him to intensive care and he died in their hands on the Liverpool care pathway, which means that Theodore Ro Roosevelt, Teddy, gets to be in the museum film and he does not need to win an election to be the murderous president. Edith Bolling Wilson, that could be, that's the first lady of Woodrow Wilson. There's Judy Garland, singer and movie actress, 19th great granddaughter, and that I believe is the yellow brick road back to Berlin. And all of it is hilarious, which is the naming of little Missy Clinton. Ellen Alan Shepard, Mercury and Apollo astronaut, in the commas, because none of the stupid bastards ever went there, and everybody goggled at the telly and believed that they actually landed in the moon when the footprints were underneath the vehicle, yet when they went down the ladder. Benedict Cumberbatch, television and stage actor, 19th great-grandson of Eustace. George H.W. Bush, the Nazi, yeah, that's Herbert Walker Bush, uh, and he is nicknamed Poppy, Poppy Bush, because that's George Herbert Poppy Bush, who lives in Vesuvius, because he's a cowardly Nazi, and he fled from Europe in 1937 to start the Fourth Reich in America. And all of it is totally tragic for America and Britain, and all of them treat their ordinary common electorates in exactly the same ruthless way. All of them fund themselves from the central and federal banks, and the Federal Reserve scam, eh, and all of the taxpayers fund everything that the country has to pay for. Yet yeah, tax and ratepayers globally, they are the only thing that contribute to government. All the rest of this mafia eh, fund themselves from the mints and the massive electronic issuance of money. And that's why the whole world is in that continual uh, spiral of uh, inflation. Yeah, and that's why the ordinary people get returns even on massive savings accounts of less than 1%. I am the victim of that at the moment. Okay? And that is the world's banking groups and all of the people that become billionaires because they're descended from fake popes and murderous world leaders. And talking of which, we get Calvin Coolidge and Lucille Ball and all of the Ball families that used to be my heroes in Britain. And that is now Ed Balls on the Committee of 300 because they are one of the early presidential bloodlines. And his bitch Cooper is also on the Committee of 300. And they are the world's richest people and they just whine about the false politics that is the acting role that is the only thing that they have to do to earn that fortune. There is Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, 20th great-grandson of Eustace of Boulogne, and your little hoose in Tringhanna. And there is Prince Harry, who's prepared to kill, and has now changed his ears so that he can no longer be accused of being the bastard child of uh, King Juan Carlos with a massive cock that he puts on the press in Rupert Murdoch's stories to cover up the fact that his mother is also a Nazi. Zeke Heil on the front page of Murdoch's stories, the weekend she tried to section me. Eleanor Roosevelt, first lady, president of Franklin D. Murderous Roosevelt, who promised never to enter the war, but did. And then the gods got him. They already got him with polio when he was a child, eh, and they got him with massive cardiovascular incidents when he started to attack Stalin, his colleague in the Three Wise Men team. And there is Lee Harvey Oswald, 
accused assassin of President John F. Kennedy, who was murdered by Permindex, which was run by Winston Churchill uh, and uh, Bill Clinton's uh, foster parent, that is, uh, that is uh, Beaverbrook. Yeah, and the, all of them are uh, warmongering profiteers. There is Elizabeth Montgomery of the families that now live in Loch Leman's mansion. Uh, and that is the Montgomery's. And the mansion has now been taken over by the execution team for Queen Mary that used to be interned on the Loch Leman island which she had the wits to escape from there, yeah? And she did not get the outcome that the Great Escape team got. She got her head locked off because she was a Scottish person and a loyal person. And then all of her children become the shag bags for the monarchs all over the sectarian world. And that is the massive Heron House and Castles that you've seen in Hanover. And that is where the uh, illegitimate children of Queen Victoria became the European aristocracy. And all of it is a massive steal. And there is Winston Churchill, who is the Queen's dad. And there is Camilla Parker Bowles, Duchess of Cornwall, yeah? and the murderer complicit in her rival that was uh, Princess Diana. And the royals are allowed to do that if the male says that he wants rid of her. And he was the parent with Camilla of the people that are now haunting the pubs of Dundee. Yeah, and I presume uh, Glam's too. Yeah, that is the uh, jet black families that were born in the Cook Straits, eh, that are the children of Simon Day, eh, that, that, that they are the children of Simon Day and his black woman, and that is why they had to kill, in Rupert Murdoch's press, Saldana in the birthing chambers for Commoner Kate, so that they could cover up all of those stories, that those bastards are not even mentioned in the claimants to the throne, even though they are the children, the first ever children of Prince Charles. And the stable girl that works in Balmoral is in the same position. And she's in a really dangerous position, because if there is a more legitimate claimant to the throne than that, than they currently have, then that person gets murdered. That is Edward VII and Marcus Manuel and the launch of all the Basel faulty stories for John Cleese and I don't think I've got that on the right place there now. Yeah, that is Basel faulty, let me show you. Yeah, it is absolutely mountainous. And the people that have taken over uh, Montague's uh, place that is the mansion at uh, uh, the little village that you're in on the shores of Loch Leven is the naming of that mansion. I've forgotten what it is, although I was there just two or three days ago. Uh, and there is the Basel Fault. He joke in all its glory. Oh no, they've taken the images down. Valley Jane Lees, Nay Hancock's, Stephen Hancock's, Bank of England, Carney, Cameron's Cairn, Capital Frost, Dr. Quok, Eon. Yeah, and they're allowed to take my image down. Yeah, and they're allowed to take their images down, even although they're still, still stealing from the people of Great Britain through the Bank of England, led by the Queen and all of her syndicate. Anthony Habgood, good chair of the co court, and their directors are Quok's who are on the rich list in China. Yeah, and they're allowed to take my photos down. <laughs> Let's get Basil Faulty.
goose stepping and all of them are Monty Pythons and all of them are uh, aware that the war was a massive inbred familial uh, massacre and I don't think we're going to see uh, Basil Fawlty goose stepping through but there's the Freemasons and there's all the manipulators of all the banks and the murderers of Princess Diana right through the world's story. Same for Juan Carlos, Prince Harry's dad, who murdered his own brother so he could become the king. Yeah, and if I get murdered in the Malmaison, they have now got a new boss from Portugal and Spain. Yeah, and that is Marcus Manuel, who was murdered in Sintra Castle in Portugal, and all of that was commissioned by Edward VII, the Orcafat Royal, that is the father of Winston Churchill, through Lady Randy's loins. Sorry, I had a picture of Basil Fawlty uh, before we got onto this. And, let, and let's just see, now that we've, there's Cavendish, Duke of Westminster, there is Nina Louisa Cavendish Bentinck, and there is the Queen Mother, yeah, who's actually the maid trained downstairs, and that will be the same story for the woman that I saw, that is the dead ringer for Nina Louise Cavendish Bentinck. Yeah. And she is uh, beautiful like the line, but that is, uh, she's beautiful because she's still a commoner. This one became a billionaire in the palaces, and that includes the massive Sutherland pads that are the c hugely sinister and massive towers right on the north coast of Scotland, all of them in the estates called Sutherland because that is the, uh, the massive families that are Levis and Gower and they are the inquest chairs in everything that they steal and they ban up all of the innocent people who prepare to tell any stories about them. Lou Blue, yeah, in those mansions or used to still. And it's quite sinister and the clouds have come pouring over uh, and let me just see who Michael Benteen was again. And there is Greg Hallett declaring all of the whipping boy Bose Lyons stories and how the real one fled to Denmark because she knew that the stammering George VI, the imbecile, who was asked to lead us to war so that the moneylenders cannot get the blame, Hannah. Oh, sorry, Lou Blue, Hannah. And there is the son of Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, I hope we've got him on screen. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and there are the uh, uh, lovers that are, unless she did it as a revenge attack because of the Camilla siring of those jet black children in the Cook Straits in Australia that lead to the false murder in the birthing chamber for Saldana, the jet black nurse at St Mary's Hospital where I used to work. Yeah, and that is Juan Carlos, his son, has now slept with Gwyneth Paltrow the same year that she was divorced from Christopher Martin, who is the Pope that was the first Pope in the Pisa bloodline. Yeah, Josephus, and he wrote the fucking Bible, and he was not born in time for Jesus to be born. And that's why they need the TARDIS. Do you get it? Yeah, and that is him, Juan Carlos, the father 
Oh no, sorry. That yeah, that is Spain. That is Felipe of Spain, and that is the flings that he has had with Gwyneth Paltrow, just to cover the headlines. Yeah, and just to cover the Jewish lineage that is Paltrow, and I believe that she is related to to Pope Benedict, like the Rothschilds. And I've made massive videos with illustrations and bloodline trees that prove all of that. And that's way after they sectioned me, when I was living in my own house, in inverted commas. And if they discover oil uh, under the grass for the people that have replaced me in that house, they are the rutters, and that is von Rutter of Austria, and that is Del Boy Rutter, and that is what the world leadership team is uh, accused of by me, one of the few analysts that are prepared to attack them. Yeah, The first one was Greg Hannett and he has paid the ultimate price. But I've got all his pictures and all his evidence and there are the lovers Yeah, that are the parentage of the uh, uh, <laughs> legitimate claimants in inverted commas that are his bastards yeah and all of them are in an absolute tiz because they realize now that god is aware of everything that they have done right through that 2000 year period since jesus was alleged to have died to allow us to commit sins and to be forgiven for them I think I might stop there, uh, but there's much, much more to tell. We're only, uh, let me show you some of these family fucking trees. There is Wigington uh, and Wilson, first lady of Woodrow Wilson. There is the uh, Edith Boiling Wilson, first lady of President Woodrow Wilson again. There is the ancestry of Sir Winston Churchill according to the official archives. <laughs> View famous kin of Jeanette Jerome. Do you get it? Lady Randy and the launch of the Nymphomaniac movie to try and stop me uh, opening up my accusations when I pleaded with the Queen that she must allow the people of the world to get the benefit of the banks around the world that are supposed to be the federal banks and you now understand what the federal banking concept is because we're not allowed to know who the owners are which is why my pictures have been taken down off my website pages let's see if i can get you basil faulty and all of it will be illustrated yeah and there's the usual banking suspects this time but they've been taken down three times before. And there's Hannah's Lublu uh, at that time. <laughs> okay. Uh, and all of it is absolutely sinister. There's the three wise men. There's the Christmas tree on Christmas Day on the sun god Saul's Christmas morning. That was his day of worship by the global pagans. Who have been murdered by that lot. And there's the three kings visiting Innsbruck, where there is no room at the birthplace for Pope Benedict and Hitler Rothschild. And there is Roosevelt, who demonized him for being a totalitarian bastard, eh, and then he died as soon as he started that, because that's their attempts to start another war just after they have massacred 45 million people. And that's why he was given polio when he was born, because he's on the bloodline that takes you right back to Piso, and that was one of his favourite nicknames. And that is the naming of Poland, and all of the death camps, and all of them laugh at it, like Evelyn De, who's not actually a woman, he's the advisor to the Queen. Yeah, and there is... Lionel Nathan Rothschild was in the pub last night looking really genial and relaxed. 
Yeah, and there are the Sigisbert Prince Ursus. That means bear, uh, and that is the bears in the wood that are Rothschild, and that is every Christmas, and my wife's presents and songs to my children, and reading of them the Teddy Robinson stories for her Rothschild paymasters. Okay, and Stalin had a withered left hand because he's a fascist like the rest of the bastards. And do you get the lady Randy and the parentage of him now? So he's the son of Edward VII. Uh, and I think she was the uh, concubine for uh, Lady Randy. So, uh, and there is Hannah Mary. Three female children with the capacity for greatness were not her relatives, so murderous and treasonous to their immediate family so that they can keep the wealth, but they need to get other people's babies because of their bloodline issues, Hannah. You're one of my heroines. And that is what they run all around the world to dismember their opposition. And that's why they own China and the whole of Asia. And that is the Sassoon family that married into Rothschild. And there's very little else to disclose. And Gwyneth, you are holding the keys. Yeah, and, but you do not cross your legs often enough to be lovable to innocent people. Okay, sorry, I cannot find a Basil faulty picture, and I had one earlier on. Uh, what else is on this? Let's see what uh, Michael Benteen looks like. Goon show. Do you get it? Gwyneth's uh, lubricant is called Goop, and that is God, and all the piss takes against him. And there are the goons, all of them educated at Oxford and Cambridge, and worshipped by the fascists that run the Rotary Club and the Probus Club right through world history. Uh, and which one is Benty? Michael Benty. Really intelligent looking man. Okay, do you get the history of the world and the meaning of life for our leadership team? They just need you out of the way, but they need your rates and your taxes to pay for everything that allows them to become actors in the House of Commons and the House of Lords and in the presidential buildings in America. All of the sad bastards are from the Palatinate in Germany. And that is Donald's homeland, and that is where Frankfurt is, and all of it is the launch of false religion by St. Boniface, and the growing of the pine trees where Thor's oak were felled, so that all of these comedians can massacre the world's pagans. Yeah, and the world's only genuine worshippers of God and that's the gods in the heavens. Yeah, the Rhineland Palatinate. Yeah, and there it is. The center of the universe with the Asia blue mane running through it, which is why the gods set fire to the building in Main Street the other evening. I think we'll stop there. Uh, but I should really take you through 
these things because I'll never get another chance to do it. Uh, and there is Sarah Ferguson, yeah, tenth cousin, three time removed, to Edith Bowling Wilson, first lady of the cuckolded uh, president uh, Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, and who his shagbag was that coerced him into entering America in World War One, God only knows. Yeah, and she's the one that brought down the Twin Towers. She had the little red doll on the 111th floor of that building. And all of it is the same joke. And they want revenge against the gods that created them for giving them German measles, which is little red rubella. And that is the deafness and speechlessness of the royals through world history. And that's why the gods uh, uh, are scaring them so much now. Yeah, good old Queenie, at least she's taken the warnings. But now Prince Charles has to lay the wreaths. Okay, tenth cousin, three times removed to Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York. And there's the family tree with Cyril Knowles' relatives on it. And that is the massive victory for England in 10, oh no, 1966. Anne Knowles, Richard Knowles, uh, John West, uh, Dorothy Knowles, William Byam, Lydia Thomas, Anne Gunthorpe, uh, Dorothea Spotswood, Spottiswood, uh, Archibald Boiling, Robert Jocelyn, and that is the Hambros of the SESOEs. Elizabeth Francis, Charlotte Jocelyn, Mervyn Wingfield.